VRAN and OpenRAN are creating opportunities for communication service providers to build and power innovative business models that serve new markets. A collaboration between Dell and Wind River illustrates that potential. And joining me to discuss is Manish Singh, CTO, Telecom Systems Business, Dell Technologies, and Paul Miller, CTO at Wind River. Welcome to you both. And Paul, I want to start with you. Can you talk a little bit about how CSPs are rolling out VRAN and OpenRAN and the work that Wind River and Dell are doing to support the CSPs? Sure. Thanks, Clarence. We're seeing an incredible transformation in the industry moving towards virtualized and open architectures for the deployment of RAN technologies. Over the past several years, those investments have um, realized uh, transformational changes in service provider networks like Verizon and Vodafone, where virtualized RAN and open RAN are now entering uh, high scale production usage. Uh, this is driven by a lot of interest for new revenue generating services for the service provider, as well as TCO benefits from a fully virtualized network architecture. Uh, Wind River has met these challenges with Wind River Studio, which is a complete immersive offering that provides the container as a service and Kubernetes cloud native infrastructure for geo distributed RAN deployment as well as analytics, AI, and machine learning for day two operations and orchestration and automation functions on top of that as well. At the same time, we're seeing some hesitance in the industry, obviously moving from the, the legacy's old appliance-based approach for doing radio access networks to a completely cloud-based cloud native approach requires the transformation of a lot of things within the service provider. We're seeing some hesitancy in adopting that and moving past that friction and that's one of the things we're here to talk about today, how we're going to solve that together. And Manish, what is your perspective on the rollout? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, I, I do agree with Paul. I think the network transformation for the service providers are ongoing. Uh, I think it's very clear for the service providers that uh, they want to uh, you know, move away from the legacy architectures, the monolithic, the big iron, everything tightly integrated coming from a handful of vendors. And they do want more innovation, more supply chain diversity, uh, better cost economics on their network. And that's all driving their push to get their networks more and more cloud native. Uh, and these journeys to a large extent started in the core networks where things have matured. Uh, we've been now pushing more and more out into the edges and into the RAN, into the radio access network where they want to again achieve similar benefits in terms of uh you know better uh, innovation better uh, uh economics uh, uh leveraging the cloud native uh, technologies so so that's uh, definitely the direction in which the industry is uh, moving uh, to uh now to paul's point i think there are challenges i think there are challenges and, and we'll talk a little bit more about in terms of uh, as you cloudify the network and disaggregate the network uh, things have to be brought back together and uh, you know that that brings up the integration challenges and and, and getting the right support models etc uh, so those are some of the issues that need to be solved uh, but i think it's pretty clear that things are moving in that direction and i from dell's perspective i'll say you know dell has been supporting our customers uh, in their digital transformation journey across a wide range of industries. And what we are doing is leveraging all that experience and making uh, strategic investments and help, you know, in supporting our telecom customers to really accelerate their network transformation journey. And uh, uh, to that point, I mean, earlier this year, we announced uh, the Dell Telecom Multi-Cloud Foundation, uh, and as well as uh, we, we we announced our investments in Hotel, which is an open telecom ecosystem lab where we're putting all the infrastructure. Think of it as a playground where the ecosystem can come together to start uh, undertaking some of these integration and engineering efforts that are very much required. Uh, as I said, as we disaggregate, things have to be brought together. So we're putting these uh, key, uh, you know, uh, building blocks in place to really start accelerating this network transformation journey for the communication service providers. And along those same lines, Manish, Dell recently announced telecom infrastructure blocks for Wind River. Can you tell us how this partnership was formed with Wind River and how you define telecom infrastructure blocks? Well, this partnership uh, with Wind River, I'd say, is rooted in the work that uh, both companies have been doing jointly, uh, along with others, with one of the service providers, for example, Waterfall, uh, where, uh, you know, uh, 
Vodafone has been on its own journey of uh, cloud transformation, brand transformation in particular, uh, and Wind River and Dell, uh, uh, along with others, have been working uh, in, in, in making that happen. And as we went through that journey, I will, to, to answer your question, I will root it uh, in one of the uh, recent white papers that uh, Vodafone published. Uh, this was the system integration paper that they published, outlining a whole range of challenges uh, that they are facing in terms of disaggregation challenges on you know integration of solutions in the lab to taking them through trials to actual site integration when they're actually rolling out uh, the infrastructure and then integration with the NOC and day two operations and support model and more and and so uh, come to the telecom infra block for wind river uh, this solution Intel in partnership with uh, Wind River and Intel have put together where this is a fully engineered solution, bringing the Dell Power Edge servers, the R70, the XR11, and the Wind River Studio pre-integrated along with Dell's bare metal orchestration uh, uh, software. And this pre-engineered solution uh, is now being made available to the telecom customers. And the North Star for this is, again, to remove all that undifferentiated heavy lifting that otherwise has to be done uh, to, to really remove all of that and to start accelerating the network transformation journey. Also, to dramatically improve the OPEX. So we've done work with ACG, for example, and there's a paper we publish uh, and, and, and this pre-integration work that we have undertaken uh, starts to deliver 39%. OPEX improvement and starts to dramatically lower the total cost of ownership uh, of the solution. So the, the, the real objective here is to accelerate the journey and improve the economics uh, for the service providers. The solution, I, I would say there are three key uh, elements to it. Number one, it's pre-validated, right? So it's pre-engineered, pre-validated uh, and pre-integrated. Number two, it's integrated to the point that the solution is delivered factory integrated. Uh, hardware, software, all pre-integrated and makes for the service providers procurement and deployment much, much easier. And then third, last but not the least, automated. And, and when we talk about the day two uh, support and automation, it brings in all those capabilities and, and makes it, may, automates the op entire operations of the radio access network, which I must say, is a dis highly distributed hierarchical network if we think about from a telco topology. So we are really out and about uh, away from the data centers and these automation capabilities are absolutely critical to again, lower that uh, TCO and the OPEX. So those are some of the key capabilities of the solutions. So Paul, what is the importance of the integration work Dell is doing and how will it benefit customers? I think this is really a significant ground shift in, in ORAN for the first time in its history where if you look at what a carrier has to go through to adopt open RAN or virtual RAN technologies, they're moving from a single vendor supplied solution to a disaggregated multi-vendor solution that certainly has its benefits from a, a TCO and deployment speed and service agility perspective. There's a lot of positives to it, but the negatives are associated with the complex integration that the customer usually has to go through. And that's a significant burden for them to absorb. Uh, by taking two of the companies that have the greatest experience in the industry, Wind River with the industry leading virtualization solution for Open RAN, as well as Dell with the world's best hardware solutions and infrastructure software, creates a completely integrated platform that significantly reduces that friction. It reduces the burden for the service provider to perform that integration. And in fact, as we've tightly coupled our solutions together now, we have some significant optimizations in how the network is managed. Uh, as Manish mentioned, the, the integration with Dell Bare Metal Orchestrator that provides the ability for hardware platform validation coupled with the software deployment management and lifecycle management of the applications. This significantly reduces the operational burden and complexity for managing a geo-distributed cloud that's hosting RAN applications. The other thing I'd want to mention is that this partnership that we're doing with Dell is a significantly different activity than partnerships if you look into the in, into past history. For example, this is not just about software on a hardware platform and integrating them. It's a completely integrated holistic offering to the service provider market that includes um, service level backed uh, carrier grade service into the service provider for service outage recovery, as well as professional services, managed services offerings. This is really necessary. We've encountered in multiple service providers the 
really the lack of expertise around cloud native technologies and disaggregated technologies where we can bring the expertise of our personnel into that carrier as part of the unified solution that not only gives them the hardware and software assets pre-integrated and validated, as Manish mentioned, but also the personnel with the expertise that can help the service provider take a year out of their deployment timeframe. And that's a pretty significant acceleration to revenue for our customers. And also, Manisha, uh, along those lines, I understand that Dell and Wind River have a unified support model. Can you tell us a little bit about that as well? Yeah, I mean, just uh, you know, building on uh, on Paul's po uh, point, uh, I think this is uh, unique in, uh, to the point that uh, a unified. We are also bringing a unified support model, and what that means is for the customer, uh, they can call Dell support, and when they make that call, they get the support for the hardware and the software stack. Our our support teams have been trained on Wind River Studio, and then they have direct line into Wind River for you know, higher levels of support uh, as needed. So when I was talking about, you know, uh, need for day two, uh, you know, operations, automation support, uh, and again, simplification of that, because, you know, when we think from a communication service provider's uh, perspective, coming from the, you know, legacy architecture world where they had one vendor providing, you know, a monolithic stack and providing, you know, the, the, the support. As we start to disaggregate, these are some of the challenges the service providers face is how do they get support when the, uh, when, when the hardware and software are all deployed and unified support is uh, another key step that we have now taken Dell and Wind River through this partnership to provide unified support, one call, support for hardware, software, all available, no need to make multiple calls, and our teams are trained, and then there are backline and infrastructure that's put in place uh, between Dell and Wind River uh, to resolve higher level of support. And not only support, I'd also just add one more thing. Uh, need for, we're also offering, you know, carrier grade support with uh, guaranteed SLAs, uh, and there are service offerings for, you know, planning to, uh, uh, you know, uh, deployments uh, and uh, you know store services etc uh, as uh, th these infrastructure uh, start to get deployed and operationalized so these are all these new capabilities that we are bringing in partnership with wind river uh, to really accelerate the network transformation journey for the service providers so paul once this pre-integrated solution is deployed what types of day two operational features will telecom infrastructure blocks for wind river provide that's really a great question, Clarence. Uh, we really see in the offering that we're providing two major pivotal components. One is obviously on one side, you have the technology stack that we've been talking about, the highly integrated software and hardware solution that is brought to market, pre-validated, integrated, and reduces friction for adoption of RAN technology in a disaggregated open architecture. On the other side, though, are the benefits we can take in from operational learnings, from actually running our systems and deployed networks, actually running VRAN and ORAN in production environments. And we learned some things from that that have really increased the software offering that we have and the integration that we're doing with Dell. For example, uh, inbuilt analytics, AI, and machine learning for predictive outage avoidance and predictive maintenance, as well as aggregated alarming and reporting is really critical when you look at the tens of thousands of nodes that often are deployed in a, in a geo-distributed cloud technology. That single pane of glass management becomes incredibly important for low OPEX for the service provider and ease of use to maintain and run the network. Also above that, the uh, component within our Wind River Studio we call Conductor that enables a single pane of glass lifecycle management, modern CI-CD software mechanisms for deploying infrastructure as code and managing the applications from a single pane of glass across public cloud, private cloud, all the way down into edge devices is a really powerful offering to enable the service provider to operate this network on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. And then from the experience we've had running in networks, things like configuration drift, where perhaps a BIOS setting on a server has drifted or uh, a particular component on the platform has mo been modified, the ability to detect that drift can really avoid significant outages in such a complex disaggregated solution. So the integration we're doing with Dell with their hard, hardware platform APIs like Redfish, IPMI, Pixie, as well as their software platforms like the bare metal orchestrator platform that provide a wholly integrated solution between Wind River and Dell to enable this configuration drift detection to ensure that this becomes a much easier to manage a deployed infrastructure, even though it's provided as a disaggregated solution. Uh, we think that these things are really important operational tools 
that are significantly different that you can find elsewhere in the market that really ensure not only the right platform to deploy ORAN on, but the ability to run it on a day-to-day -day basis at a low OpEx level. Those are some great insights, and we look forward to seeing how this collaboration develops. Manisha and Paul, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having us.